Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am Derek Thuban. Let's play something. I'm back. Uh, I remembered I had to go mow the lawn and put down fertilizer. Fun stuff. Okay, so now we're down in the uh, tunnel. We are uh, about to push on a metal plate. Oh, let's see what happens. It's a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? It's a small, dark opening. Yeah. Another projection there. Come on Rick, there. I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. I know the solution, I just want to see if he gives the answer. Rick, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Well, as any point and click adventure it's game pig. would tell you, uh It's the pig. Yeah, I, I know it's, it's the, the pig. pig. I need you to use something from the pig. Oh duh, I've got it. Never mind. Uh, uh. <clears throat> use everything with everything. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Okay, let's start pushing on plates. I'm going to push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. But they expected us to Here's try to blow it up with nuclear weapons. Sure. Makes sense. It disappeared too. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the last one. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. And the radio doesn't go through solid rock? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Yeah, let's poke around. Break. Gosh. Okay. Okay. We got plates and we got indentations. These plates probably fit together, but how? Like that. Hey, that looks familiar. Hold on a second. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
square to the triangle thing. I like that. That's neat. What's happening? Excellent. Very, very nice. I feel like someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. <laughs> of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious <clears throat> agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. Uh, they have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. I don't know. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anymore. Have you ever seen, uh... I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen <laughs> for the world. return trip. If there is a return trip. The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. How do you know? No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. If it's traveling faster you, than light, and it just got lunch. there. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Yeah, you're gonna be here a while. Okay. Let's uh, talk to some people and find out what we can. Brink. Get. How are you doing, Brink? You mean apart from being trapped on an alien planet with no idea of how to get back? Yeah, yeah, apart from that. This is a pretty desolate place. That's profound. Whoever once lived here, I think they are long since gone. So much dust. Undisturbed except by our own feet. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay, what Robbins. you got, Robbins? This place is as desolate as the Midwest. Hey! Almost as desolate as the Midwest. Oh, come on now. You doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. This is the greatest story of my life. The only trouble is I have no way of telling it to anybody. Okay. Thanks. Just, uh... Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water. Or some way out of here. Yeah, that's the ticket. I think we should remain together. Well then walk with me. We'll Fine. Just stand there. Follow me. Jeez. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. 
Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. <laughs> In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. Yeah, what, what she said. All right, I agree. No, you for don't. Now. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Okay, so we got some question mark things going on. What are they? Let's find out. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. Could be. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Mark us. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Cool. I'll take it. It looks like something is buried here. Mm, do we want to find out what? What? Are you just going to dig right in? Heck yeah! With a shovel? <laughs> Wait, that's all we'll we destroy got. the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero, we destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. <laughs> that's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now, if we don't get back, nobody's gonna know now about this. Get place out of the anyway. way if you aren't gonna help, Brink. This might take a while. Oh, okay. We'll go get something to eat. Remember, rule number one of Avenger games. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Use everything now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. Very true. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Let's see what's over here. Whoa! Fantastic! Look! Hey! Spaceship! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Well, let's hope they're peaceful. Or gone. No, no one was ever here. This alien technology is hopelessly ruined. Well, yeah, because you're an expert on how alien technology works, I'm sure. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. <clears throat> corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything.
We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. <laughs> First, shouldn't you turn the power off at the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Huh. <coughs> Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. <laughs> That's what I felt like, too, man. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Whoa! Um, what the frick? What is that? And why is it doing that? Look at it. It's beautiful. Tape and stuff. Okay. Changing <coughs> shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Yeah. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. But now I've got this awesome rod. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? I saw it drop from it. Oh my gosh. It still might be useful. No, it's a chest. This isn't a chest. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Maybe. Maybe not. Anything else in here? Anything else? Brink. What was that apparition? Ah, so much to learn and not a single piece of instrumentation. Thanks. Sure. Very meaningful, Brink. Jeez, man. Got nothing at all to say. The engine, 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 anything else? Nothing. Okay. Oh, there is a cool little thing I was going to show you guys here. Uh, to go to the penultimate, you got this as asteroid lander thing. And you got uh, a little, uh, little, little game here that you can play. It's kind of neat. No 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 thrust 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 I stink at it. I can pilot a shuttle better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh what the That was weird. Okay, let's try to get the X velocity down to nothing. Whoa. What? I'm barely going. I can pilot a shuttle better. Okay, great. Come on, let's... Let's get out of there. Okay. All right. If I can ever get out of this place, that'll be the end of this episode, I think. I think we got one more place to check out. Over here. Right there. That's where we came from. Do you think we could climb this slope? Mm-hmm. No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? Mm. 
I think we can there. safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean Maybe. this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Mm -hmm. Or the port authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. Um, he's got if I wanted hair. to give you the creeps, um, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. That's more like it, probably. How do you know it isn't a ghost? Hey. What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. Okay, so let's check out what's in the small hole. Where did my zero G digger go? I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. No, oh, yeah, you know better. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Yeah. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Like some people. Finally, a good <clears throat> use for my extensive training. Yeah, digging a hole. Dig that hole, buddy. Let's go. No! It's completely... I can't... No! Ah! Frank! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Come on, Austin. wake up, Brink. He's dead. What? I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. 
It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. I forgot he died. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. Oh, that's So there's nice. no particular reason for us to stay together. Our what? odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. That doesn't make I any sense. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Oh, because wow. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. Yeah. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao, sayonara, avidersane. You know, Maggie, goodbye. Maggie, it's against every it's rule just... of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's it just you and kinda me. kind of does. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. <laughs> Until then, adios. Ciao. Uh, again, really? Sayonara, Avedor Zane. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Hmm, okay. You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. I don't know. But we got a plate. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Probably need that later. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt too. The plants seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. Huh. They must share a common root system. Cool. Obviously don't know the answer to this puzzle quite yet, but I'm sure I'm going to find out. Okay, well, here is where I will break up the episode as far as uh, the YouTube. Um, I'm going to keep going on the stream, though, so this is going to end episode 3 and uh, begin episode 4 in just a second. So, here we go.